Son of a bitch. Welcome back, boys and girls, to more Blood Bowl. Hey, look, we get a wolf back. That's nice. That's a small consolation prize, I guess. We also get pelvis back. It's also super great that because uh, these undead, this undead team is so stacked, uh, they can't carry extra players at their TV. So they only have 11 players, so it is now 11 to 9. 11 to 9? Yep. Oh my oh, god, wow. fucking look at this, though. He's got six re-rolls. Oh, was that ass coaches? That was assistant coaches. If, if I would have had, if only someone had been around <laughs> to coach your ass. If I would have had two assistant coaches instead of two cheerleaders, I would have gotten a reroll. Think about that one. Worst ass in Blood Bowl. Think about that. Needs needs real ass coaching. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a pretty pretty gross ass. So, uh, not good. Mm, uh, this is not this is not good. Uh, nine versus eleven is pretty great, but the fact still stands that we're going to. I'm pretty sure each of his mummies is worth two of your players. Yep, uh, and at least that mummy is going to kill whoever he punches on this line. I can promise you. I love how his entire team is basically, eh, everyone's good, and then murder mummy. Yeah. You don't even put your flesh golems on the line. You're like, that's a recipe for them getting killed by Alan Titchmarsh. Yep, I am I am not the dumbest person ever, though I am cl quite close. <laughs> getting up there. We have video evidence. Okay. Is he going to pile it on, pile it on, pile it on, pile it on, uh, pile it on? You can pile on the KO. Son of a bitch! But he chooses not to. Uh, smart, Smart, maybe. Fun, no. Absolutely not. Uh, his his shirt is firmly on. Yes, there, there is There are a, no helicopters here. There's no helicopters, so... No helicopters. Shameful. Who doesn't stud man a zombie with no skills with 160? It's because you fouled. I think if you hadn't fouled him, he probably would have been like, fuck it, we going in. Uh, maybe. I, who knows? No, the world no will... never mind. He's not the fun haver, so probably not. The world will never know. Okay, so the ball's over there. <laughs> uh, this oh, is good. yes. No. Uh, I really that's... wanted him to... Uh... To just fail with his six rerolls? Yeah. I I was no you wouldn't have you would not have wrestled him. <laughs> no, but it's it's the mind games. I would I'm telling him I would have wrestled him now because maybe it's someday in the future that will be useful to me. Yeah. Uh this is my first case of uh mind games in this match. Well, as as far as I can remember, I am definitely going to use it a second time. Whether or not it's actually effective, uh you can be the judge, but I I'm I'm giving it a shot. I like playing the mind games. Uh, not this directly though. It's usually just whining, and that's uh, uh, that that people picked up on very quick. Uh, the whining during matches. Everyone whines during Blood Bowl matches. It's it's one of the things that when you're in Blood Bowl, you earn the right to whine. That's why I that's why I play the game. Anyone who talks shit because someone whines in a game of Blood Bowl is a king fucker and should shut up. Now, whining after you play a game of Blood Bowl, that's a whole different story. Eh, there's like a, a leeway, I think. A grace period, if you will. Like the first, the, the five minutes after a game of Blood Bowl. Yeah. But if you come back a week later and I'm like, you're a fucker. I rolled, I rolled three skulls and you're a fucker. Like a week later, that's rude. Don't exit, do that. the, exit the wine zone immediately. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's not that good a grace period. Uh, now, here I am, unfortunately, not necessarily forced to put Flesh Gordon next to a zombie. Uh, I see what I... you're doing. You're standing Frank and Castle next to Alan Titchmarsh. You're hoping that he can remove him once and for all. Someone has to. If there's one person who's who's shown an affinity for removing players, it's Alan Titchmarsh. Okay, well, it would be the one heroic act that Alan... If Alan Titchmarsh kills Frank and Castle, I might forgive him the rest of this match. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. That'd be pretty great. Uh, pretty pretty tops. So here I am sort of, uh, I'm being sort of active, aggressive at the same time. Uh, because I know that these undeads, being undeads, and considering how this match has gone and how, how Pasco has been playing, I know that he is in no hurry to go score, and he is totally willing to uh, to bunker it out for as long as he has. So I, am, I hope he just break tackles through and punches McGruff in the face. I would be okay with that. That would be awesome, just going, you are dead. That's a lot just of dodges. stomping through your line. Uh, that's not going to happen, though. What, what is going to happen is he's going to uh, advance the ball and cage up. So that, again, that puts the impetus on me. That's too. the no fun zone. Look at this fucker. Can't even kill a zombie properly. He's also not going to pile on, which is, again, the, the tactical correct decision. Shameful. 
but the the super lame non fun haver super lame. whatever. Alan Tishmarch is back to my least favorite player. It's a it's a a, a, fluctu- a very wide fluctuating scale of best best and worst. It's true. Franken Castle was his one uh, was his one like. Oh man, look at this ghoul on ghoul action. The uh, Carol Klein, the plus strength ghoul, going straight for the head cheerleader. There can only be one. To no avail. And so here we here we go with the 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 cage. That I am not very well equipped to deal with. Well, to be fair, some teams just don't work mm-hmm. against cages, yeah. and especially in this situation, with how much strength he has and uh, just how kind of outclassed here you are. Yeah, like there's yeah, I mean there's like there's nothing there's not a lot to say because this is what undead do. This is what bashy teams do. But we've just seen we've seen a lot of caging, and so that's. This is this is what that is. So the decision now here is: uh, Do I continue to try to fight against his wall, or do I make a mad dash uh, to go try to to go try to punch him right now? Again, he is he is blodge and he is sidestep, so that's a real freaking task if I choose to undertake it. But let's uh, we have to do something because this team, as it's been designed, is pretty much perfect for what he wants to do right here which is to just sit and just hang out and and punch me away a lot of teams have sweet spots there are some that top out really easily like for example hey hey. oh man bone cruncher bone Uh, cruncher doing things that was a regen makes me sad uh not that it mattered because joe swift is not exactly the most important player but no every little bit helps but it's one less player on the field that could uh benefit me well but yeah, every team kind of has a sweet spot, that point at which they're really friggin' good and count as really friggin' good. This is kind of where that is for uh, Undead. Mm-hmm. They take a little bit of time to get up to steam, but uh, once they get a couple levels on their mummies, so their mummies are optimally terrifying, and uh, they have some levels on their whites, and they've got a couple ghouls that aren't awful... And uh, they just kind of hit that stride where they're like, everything seems to work. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you're doing here. Uh, I'm just going to go punch guys and stand next to him. Like, I I set up uh, not great because I just want... I also want McGruff to stand next to Jim McCall. Uh, But, and... Eh, This works. So, like, this is sort of... It work as well as I'd hope, but it works. Again, I have I have basically moved all my positional. Santos Van Hammerstein can stay in stride with Jim McCall uh, because he's basically not going to be marked, and he's also uh, completely parallel or I guess horizontal with him. But I've basically moved all of my positionals to the other side of the ball, uh, hoping to make Jim McCall mess up or. Fail I don't his like dodge. this though, because note where Toby Buckland is mm-hmm. and where his mummies are, and if he just runs straight forward and down. Uh, then the only players that are really close enough to him to do anything are uh, two zombies and a ghoul with no skills. Who will almost assuredly be stood next to by a uh, mummy. Yes, because that's how this works. That was sort of, this was sort of a, uh, a sort of like half-hearted, like I'm maybe going to try to break through your cage. One of those kind of last-ditch effort things. And so I just sort of, and then like halfway through it, I gave up. But then at the very end, I decided, no, I want to do it again instead. Uh, so, like, uh, I mean, the the real the real hope is that Jim McCall fails one of his two dodges. Instead, no. Alan Titchmarsh is going to come back and go exact oh, his righteous vengeance on uh, Blitzer over here. Yep, he's fine. He's though. not going to pile on though because oh, he nah, is, he, will. he piled on the armor break. Yep. He I mean, I guess care. you really do want that uh, wolf off the pitch. Yeah. I don't like that, though, because he had a really, really strong defensive line that just was going to be unfuckwithable. Mm-hmm. And it said he went back to go punch a wolf and uh, not even successfully punch a wolf. And now there's a pretty, like, straight shot through for McGruff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where he can go through and touch him. Yes. That's true, uh, but again, this is a this is a a blodge sidestep guy who I have. Doesn't no matter. Throw the one DBs. Go punch him. I am 
I am... Worry not, I am going to throw those 1 DBs. Good man. But it's kind of iffy. And if he scores again, the game's pretty much over, so... Oh, That was really nice God. of him, That's... though. Because yeah. yeah. now, now McGruff can... Uh, can run around and not get st he's not stood next to which is handy. yeah that's helpful and i think white power can get over there with the da with the gfi too santos von hammerstein though can only go so far cannot touch him but he would need to yeah he can't well he could with like two gfis and some dumb dodges but don't do that yeah i will instead choose to prepare myself uh from the possibility that he does not score the immediate next turn uh he might actually i think he's uh I think Not he's in range. To do I it. think he's. I think he's in range with two uh, GFIs at this point. Uh, so if you punch him, out. he will definitely be in range. Yes, that is for sure. Uh, Flesh Gordon going and punching a dude because he now has block and therefore feels empowered to mm -hmm. punch things. Uh, so yeah, now now Flesh Gordon is basically trapped where he is. But I have. Uh... So here is my strategy to keep him from walking towards the end zone, which is because uh, he will almost assuredly want to take. Uh, make me take the 1db next turn, so he's going to step uh, away to the right if I am predicting correctly. Well, hopefully we'll get a punch that is a good punch. The The placement of head cheerleader helps here because he could have, like, frenzy trapped you into the 1db, but that would involve going backwards. Yeah, which so... he's going to choose to do. Interesting. I it's... don't like that. Uh, well, he ends up at even position, and... Uh, he still has to make the dodge. I I consider just staying head up on Jim McCall and uh, not doing this blitz at all. So I would have sort of essentially sandwiched him, but I really didn't. The way this match has been Don't going, trust with, your dice with all the rerolls. I tr I trusted him to be able to clear me out and then just sort of dodge away. And so I I decided that it, again the impetus was sort of on me to blitz. And this is not a great position. Uh, well, it's not a great position right now, but we do have two players who can get in there and help out. Yeah, it's a thing. Like I, why? Um, oh, because Riley I want to caster. Because I want to stand next to Riley and caster, yeah. and then I'm just gonna oh! I'm just gonna pelvis dodge. Okay, that that improves things. Like I I don't even care, literally don't care. There's always a point at which you're like, fuck it. It doesn't matter if he's standing there or not. Just mm -hmm. make the make the zombie dodge. Yep. Look at Frank and Castle being more useful than he's ever been. Tying up them two players. Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe he'll die, and then he, this will be the best turn he's ever had. Or maybe he won't die, and he'll regain your love. That's all he wants. He will never regain my love. Just like you never uh, accepted the love of the Flesh Prince, may he rest in peace. Uh, well, when he died, I I realized the error of my ways. Also, he had like three games where he was awesome as hell. That's true. Uh, uh, Fra Frank at Castle has, has still yet to please me. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, he can't even get pushed over like a man. Mm -hmm. Ugh, what a jerk. So this appears to be a this appears to be a, a fairly straightforward blitz free dodge away and then go score. Like I said, I believe he's two GFIs out and he has the rear rolls. Whether or not he chooses to take them this turn, uh, he probably should. Of course, he could always pull the like crazy one eighty and just sort of run backwards and stall me out. People even sometimes more. do that, and that's really dumb. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's the way to go this game. Yeah, I mean, if he if he were to try to run backwards, there's no really there's no really great place he could uh, hang out. So no, he's choose, me. he's gonna choose to press onward. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. No so we're wrestling. turning off wrestle. wrestle yes, and he KOs him. Pelvis. <laughs> I told you, wrestle is the most lethal skill in the game. You're a star, pelvis. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Pelvis Costello is the is a true American hero. All right, so now we're queued up to make approximately seven billion punches. Uh, against Jim McCall. I would have been really tempted to blitz him with Pelvis Costello for the wrestle. Yeah, that's that's a fair one. Uh, so instead, I would rather... Uh, and see, that's... Maybe that's maybe I should have done that thing that you said. That would have been, that would have been a dude on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, I'm going to uh, make a very dumb tactical... You're retarded. I don't like you. Oh, no, 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 that's right. I was going to blitz with white power, but of course I get quad skulls. Welcome to quad skulls. <laughs> Welcome to quad skulls and the KO. And the KO. Uh, Hello, quad skulls. I, I, it's been so many dub skulls, and I, I've been missing you. And here you we are. miss the quad skulls? Oh, oh quad my skulls, God. My, old, my old friend. Hello, Welcome home. Skulls. 
And then he gets the fucking... Oh my god, whatever. And the stun. Whatever. I was so <sighs> things happy. Things were going okay for once. For fucking once, things were going pretty okay. And, and then, then I quad skulls into... Uh, you have no clue how happy I was when I quad skulled. Oh, it was so great. <laughs> it was like it was like Christmas. It's like crystallized blood bowl. Yeah. So now, now he doesn't even like really need to go because. And now there's would... now there's no way him. that we're gonna. Now he's fucking GFIing. Yes. Oh. 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 oh it feels so much oh. better. Oh, this is. This oh, and he is got delicious. stunned too. Yeah. He's so he's now stunned. Uh, Carol and that's Klein. the two agility. Uh, that's the two agility ghoul too. Yeah. He can get free because he's he's four strength. He didn't but... need to GFI. Oh, that's so, that's so Oh, my God. So, i just like to note, GFIing into the end zone, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. We've uh, we've proved why you just shouldn't don't. do that at yeah. least once already. So, let's... Uh... Uh, maybe Blitzer can do a thing. Yep. Oh. So, uh, we can, we can uh, score. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, that's region. fine. I want SPPs, but though. It's so, not only is that SPPs, that's also a player off the field. It was a dead yeah. guy, though. I almost oh, killed him. Oh, fucking A. Killing Roy Lancaster would have been so delicious. That was his level 4 white with, like, Mighty Blow and Guard and yep. shit that you don't like players to have. Yeah, so we're going to set up to score and tie this game. That would have been awesome. So uh, so this is going to be Santos von Hammerstein running over and picking up the ball, right? Uh, no. The plan is to have the head cheerleader pick up the ball and then either... So I'm counting out my squares here, uh, so the head cheerleader can pick up and hand off to Santos, who can... And my initial thought was, I was like, I was thinking crazy. Like, at this point, I was going wild. I was like, maybe if the Flesh Gordon... If the Flesh, if flesh Gordon <laughs> is standing up... Pass it to Beef Slab. I'll, I'll pass it to Beef Slab. Bone Cruncher's down there. Uh, but basically, the ball... The, the plan is to hope that he can't stand somebody next to both Blitzer and Santos, and that I will have just enough time to get down there. Uh, Carol Klein, the upside is that that's uh, agility, too. Look at Alan Titchmarsh not care. Yes, that was a case of uh, uh, break, tackle. break Tackle. working. Have we Being seen Break like Tackle a... yet? Oh, no, Beef Slab, no! He's okay. Whatever it was. Regeneration is working goddamn overtime, this game. Did you remember we lost... Uh, we, lost hurt. we lost... We uh, lost Dr. Yeah. White. That was the only regen fail of the entire game, though. Yeah, that's that, true. Oh, that and the dead skeleton. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, oh yeah, that's right, because we both have regen. Uh, yes. Oh, so here was my other, uh, case of me <laughs> the playing... The stupid mummy dodge is nothing on the Cholo lean. <laughs> uh... This one has his priority straight. Yeah. Okay, Pelvis Costello being all, I'm in the right place at the right timey. Mm-hmm. Luckily, uh, luckily because he chose to blitz with Alan Titchmarsh and knock down my, uh, flesh golem for some reason uh that frees up santos and wolf blitzer and mcgruff uh so assuming i don't fail rolls ha ha and don't here, do what you're doing i don't know why i did this i don't know why what i'm the doing fuck this. is wrong with you i was so scared i was so scared that something was gonna doing? go wrong i don't want alan titchmarsh to get in my stuff i'll take a, a <sighs> i, hate I was you. like maybe i'll hand off to uh you I was are like, the dumbest i was like maybe i'll hand off to him and why then are you I, passing? Because I was going to hand off to my zombie, and then I realized, why hand off when I'm standing next to him? And then I was like, I have... Whatever, it's, you're going to make the pass. I hate you. No, it's fine. You. It's fine. I hate you. And it's, I hate this it's, game. It's this turn, fucking stupid. I was like, is it turn 15? Do I need to get a scoring position? Uh, no, well, it's only it. turn 14, and you can put him over there, and there's nothing that he can really do. That's what I'm going to do. About that. <laughs> Uh, and now, now one of my, probably both of my wolves are going to get punched, but it was this worth it. This is the it. stupidest thing I've ever seen. Fuck just... you, this game was very emotionally <laughs> traumatizing. <laughs> this is a hard game for you, man. I got punched hard. hard. I don't, <laughs> I just want to tie. You could have marked Alan with Bone Cruncher and McGraw and said you stood your two most expensive <sighs> and good players next to the murder mummy. Bone Cruncher could have scored. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I don't like this oh game. Oh my god. This, uh, you're like the Batman of Blood Bowl LPs. Don't worry, he he double powed it. It's fine. That was perfect. So that he got rid of the sixes. See, look, perfect. Uh, piling on, he's probably not gonna kill him. He doesn't. Yay, yeah. safe. Okay, and now Blitzer can score. No, Santos no. is scoring. Santos has, Santos has earned this. <laughs> no, he didn't. He fucking failed his dodge earlier. Santos has if earned anything, this. He's Reverse earned it. He's unearned it. Me from when I was playing this match. Negative earning going on. 
Oh, okay, how about I put it this way? Santos doesn't have to roll dice to score. And you have no rerolls. I give you that. Yeah, even if I had, even if I had fucking five, six rerolls, I'm not. Nobody is rolling a dice. Nobody is rolling a single fucking dice. Fuck a dice. I have lost so much emotionally and <laughs> in the form of uh, the minus the minus armor value player that I don't. I am tying. I am absolutely tying. Nothing is stopping me. I am going to be the, the spurgiest lord. I'm not letting anyone touch Santos. It's a okay. I, I'll give you that. This is this is the kind of game that you need to get something out of. Exactly. Granted, uh, there's not much that can stop Santos at this point, considering how many of his players I have slowly whittled down. It's true. This was... I mean, as much as shit happened, you gave as good as you got. I would say so. He has no spares, while well, you do, so... Mm -hmm. And your players are actually in really good positions somehow. Uh, thanks to the thanks to the failing the the dub skull into the end zone, so that was Calvin Klein. Keep in mind he's agility. Too. Carol Klein, oh, yeah, dodging sorry. into a tackle zone with two agility. He has dodged. <laughs> that was an impressive play. I would have loved to see that work. Yeah, that was super saucy. Uh, let's go. That was that was the sauciest play. Let's go tie. Let's get a tie. Okay. He has actually nothing that can even pretend to stop you anymore. Yes, uh, the only person he has standing up is Toby. What's his face? Now, uh, please, God, run Toby Blitzer as, way, as far away from the mummy as possible. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just like the only person. Foul, Carol Klein. Yep. No, we're doing that. <sighs> Shittiest cheerleader. I probably shouldn't have done that. I feel. You I feel absolutely bad. Absolutely should have done that. No, I don't like that. Fuck I don't, undead. I don't like fouling. They're Doesn't like. Doesn't matter. They're like brothers to me. No, they're not. Fucka undead. That's true. This team was kind of bullshit. This team was 100% bullshit. Why did you have to jump cut on the turn that... I don't know. He was possibly thinking. nothing could be done. He was thinking for a while. Uh, I did want to bring up the fact that, uh, like you had mentioned before, the fact that I brought spares I thought was super handy. Uh, because, and if you think about it, the zombies are, what, 40k team value. So that's... Yeah. Each one of them is worth two skills on another player. But in this case, it turned out to be super effective. Wow. Uh, he, of course, has... The uh, that's some saucy. That's some saucy. Mo oh. Yeah. If you for fucking real? No, he's he wants to stand next to Santos real, oh. real bad. Uh, of course, I'm just gonna blitz off with Santos because I don't want to risk the the one DB follow up. And oh, Santos and Franken Castle can put himself in a position where you can. Uh... uh, he could, but I just I feel a lot safer with this move. I don't like you. I don't have free rolls anyway, so if I fail anything, I'm falling down. And let's go. Oh, let's and go he doesn't it. have block. Blister doesn't have blocks. No, so yeah. that's probably the wise move. Thank God okay. we managed to that was That was a hard-earned touchdown. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, spares are often very, very useful to have on this team for this very reason, because uh, if your team is very fragile like mine is... Hey, look, cheerleaders. If your team is sort of fragile, having those spares, well, it may not mean that, you know, that's four skills that I could have had on the rest of the team in two zombies. It means that I have players for when my players with skills all die. So um, the moral of the story here is never GFI into the end zone if you can help it. That was a completely unforced GFI. And Blitzer... Hey, that's great. Uh, ...won uh, SPP away from leveling. That'll be... Toby Buckland got his uh, MVP on. That He was definitely MVP. And we got no skills, so we don't really have anything to vote about. I guess we'll vote with money? I don't know. See you guys for the next match. See ya.